my homie called me. Now he getting paranoid. At first he thought everything was sort of like a joke. He had bet me, oh, we gonna be open in a couple months. Now we a year in. And he was talking about, asking me about bomb shelters and so forth. And I told him, man, a decent bomb shelter with all the amenities is gonna cost you close to a million. You figure you need a room, a, a room where you can have your little greenhouse. You need a room where you can have almost like a little emergency operating table on, almost like a little uh, urgent care doctor's office. And then you got to supply it with all the things you need in there. From the chairs, the tables, medicine. Then I said you need a room like a war room where you got all your shit hooked up where you can see what's going on outside, maybe some shortwave radio, uh, some ham uh, radios where you could, you know, kind of be abreast of what's going on in the world because you're going to need it. Because the further we go down this rabbit hole, the more advanced AI get. That artificial intelligence is about to take over. And I said that what they're doing is they taking all your information, all your data, the way you talk, who you talk to, the sound of your voice, and they duplicating it. They're going to make somebody that damn near look like you and clone you. So let's just say if they looking for you, they'll, they'll have somebody that's running around looking like you and, and see if that can pull you out. Because they're going to be looking to seek and destroy. If you're not along with the agenda, you're out of here. And for the most part, most of us with the dark melanated skin, we're out of here, sir. We're out of here, miss. You got to think, in these last 10, 15, 20 years, they didn't did a hell of a good job on us where we separated from each other, can't get along with each other, always beefing and killing each other. Just imagine when there's no food, no shelter, how these niggas will be killing each other. They gonna be trying to snatch your baby and kill it and throw it over an open pit. These niggas will kill you now with a stomach full of food, with a roof over their head and food on the table. They will blow your brains out. So what you think they gonna do if they starving and feel hopeless? They gonna kill you, dog first fucking chance they get soon as you go out the house they're going to be trying to break in your house it's getting ready to get super ugly out here you see what's going on down in Texas they know what they doing they setting the stage to be this way man they setting the stage to have everybody beefing you look on ESPN you think it's black television they dick riding black people so much, white people can't help but be mad and hate niggas. I hate you fucking niggas. They can't help it. All the commercials, everything, they trying to act like they so much in love with us. Them subliminal messages. Psychological warfare at its finest. That's what they setting the stage for. It's 7 billion people on the planet. They trying to cut that down to less than 3 billion people. So that's a lot of dead bodies, yo. And then the other 2 billion people, they gonna damn near have all of them under house arrest. Either you do what, you, what they say or you be on your way. They don't have no room for families. What you mean you wanna have a husband and make children and live a happy life? It don't go like that. Them 13 families that's controlling shit, playing on controlling this shit for a long time. Trump told you, he said, man, they some very dangerous people with a lot of money. Them pedophiles, if it wasn't for pedophilia, them getting caught, killing all them kids and that with that sex trafficking, things probably would still been going at a slow rate. But because they caught, got caught with their hands in the cookie jar, they accelerate and they spending good money to keep us knocked off and locked down. Biden is cleaning out the Federal Reserve. He giving out money and printing money that the country don't have. 
China is underwriting it. And so is some people connected in Jerusalem. So, so what that tell you? That's where the cabal come out of. The real gangsters, they kill at will. The only shot the black man has is he has to come together, not only here in America, but throughout the world. If we don't do that, it, it won't be a mystery. It's history. We all going to be dead. Everybody can think it's a joke, but look, we a year in already, partner. We a, we a year in, partner. And I, I hope y'all are paying attention because as we speak, all these prices is going up. It's only going to get worse, sir. It's only going to get worse, miss. They want to put everybody under restrictions. Everybody has to take the mark of the beast. Me? Yes, you too. But I do as I'm told. It doesn't matter. You still have to take the vaccine. Well, we're going to lock your dumb ass up. Oh, okay. Everybody, sir. Everybody, miss. Make plans of meeting your maker real soon. Because the way this shit going, it's only going to get worse. And with that said, stay on point and may the force be with you.